Hi, South Florida. I'm John Madden. It's nice to be with you tonight here on Channel 7. Tonight we're going to preview the NFL on Fox. So sit back and enjoy it. You can't beat this. It's a league that's given us ecstasy. And agony. No good. Wide right. The memories, the highs and lows of the National Football League are unmatched by any other sport. We've seen perfect porpoises and pitiful pirates. Now there's a new team in town. The NFL has moved to Fox. And for you South Florida football fans, that means seven is on the sideline. So welcome to a new era. everyone and welcome to a sports extra special we're calling seven on the sidelines now what you need to do is get someone to toss you your favorite football good toss sit back in the old lazy boy and ride along as we dive into the upcoming football season we'll take a look at the Dolphins chances of getting to the Super Bowl right here at JRS come January Ken Rodriguez will preview the Finns opponents in the AFC East and Jason Jackson will be along to tell us if the Canes can pick up national championship number five but we kick it off tonight with something we're very excited about as the old monitor on the wall says the NFL is on Fox right here on seven so Last week, I ventured to Chicago to talk some football and to talk some TV with the announcers who will be talking to you every Sunday. One, two, three, four. Stand by, everybody. And roll in, kick in, check in. Welcome to the NFL on Fox. The game is still the same, but as the promos promise, there's a new attitude and a brand new team of announcers. Up in the booth, the dynamic duo of John Madden and Pat Summerall. They've become like a pair of comfortable shoes that America slips on every Sunday for their football fix. And the best part, they're together again. For Summerall, he knows what makes Big John so good. Uh, an ability to communicate and get that message across. And sometimes it takes a few words, sometimes it takes a lot of words. Or some arrows or whatever. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Madden's tendency to have fun might intimidate some announcers, but not his partner of 15 years. There's a lot of times that I admit that I don't make sense because you go and react, you think, oh, look at this guy, he went over there, this guy went over here, he come, boom, he did, and then Pat says, and it's third down. <laughs> it's still, still going to be third down. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, one of the highlights of the NFL on Fox will be a brand new hour-long pregame show, and Fox has assembled a cast of heavyweights, including James Brown, Terry Bradshaw, Howie Long, and Jimmy Johnson. It's during the pregame show that Fox will best be able to show off its new attitude. Terry, we aim to keep you happy here. <laughs> what question have you been asking all preseason? Oh, all my folks said, Terry, why, why, why won't Jimmy come on the show live with y'all? Jimmy who? J Jimmy John. Can you believe it? He bought the yacht up, parked it outside, actually docked it on Lake Michigan. Jimmy, welcome live, buddy. I'm here and raring to go. In talking to Jimmy Johnson, it sounds like there's still some coach underneath that TV persona. I imagine it's enjoyable to get the without coaching to still stay around football and you're staying in touch with it. Yeah, it's important for me to, to stay in football. Uh, and I think really by doing this, I can really have a, a good evaluation of 28 teams, uh, much more than, than just being wrapped up with one football team. JJ and Howie are both new to network life, so Terry Bradshaw doesn't mind serving as player coach. Your experience, and these guys are new to it, that you're maybe the leader of a cast That's of right. characters. You're right, because in our, in our production meeting today, I'm trying to explain to them well you, that's good your points well taken but if you don't describe or define who what these are the people will be lost so from my experience I'm able to, to help them and when they set something up you know here's what here's how you set it up 
Tomorrow we find out if this new Fox team can score any TV touchdowns. Well, one guy we didn't hear from in that piece is Howie Long. I first met Howie 11 years ago on the basketball courts of Southern California. He plays a mean game of hoop, and we all know he played a mean game of football for the Raiders. But now Howie faces a new challenge to try and tackle broadcasting as easily as he tackled enemy quarterbacks. For 13 years, Howie Long lined up at defensive end for the silver and black. He tattooed enough quarterbacks to be voted to the Pro Bowl eight times, tying a Raider record. But Howie Long is now far removed from the football fields of Los Angeles. He's moved his family cross country to this glorious estate in Charlottesville, Virginia, to begin his new life as a doting father, a doting husband, and a studio analyst for the NFL on Fox. The best football player all around in football is still unsigned, Deion Sanders. The thing about Fox for me was there's no footprints in the snow. It's, it's all new. I have no baggage from previous network experience. I am Fox's young guy. Hey, yeah, I want to shoot, baby. Shoot. Howie is now king of a castle with 62 acres. But once upon a time, his life was no fairy tale. He grew up in Charlestown, one of the roughest sections of Boston. Howie used to brag it led the nation in bank robbers per capita. What would, what would the townies think of all this? Well, most are dead or in jail, so <laughs> I don't know if we could get them on satellite hookup. When I sit down and really think about it, it's overwhelming for me to, to look at this and say it's mine. Uh, you know, it used to be toys and cars or whatever, but now I'm very, I'm acre-minded. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah. We got yeah. names We got names for these lovely pooches? Biff and Grizzly. Biff and Grizzly. Remember that, remember that God rest his soul with John Candy in, uh, in Stripes? Yeah. And that scene with Bill Murray, and he said, uh, I, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, but, uh, I have a weight problem. <laughs> now that Howie has a new attitude around the house, what about that new attitude Fox will premiere with the studio show? What is America going to see with that Fox pregame show? You're not going to see pink elephants and cheerleaders, yeah. and, you know, it's not going to be MTV and, you know, black and white quick shots, and it, it's going to be football. We're going to tamper with it a little bit, maybe give you some angles with cameras and sl super slow motion machines that you've never seen before. We have a football field in the studio we have a sky box for celebrities to come in i gotta ask you this gq cover this blow up here could we have gotten it any bigger because I, I don't think poster size is big enough i think we needed like the whole wall here it was a big success this is september issue of gq the newsstand sale is at 520,000. our biggest ever <laughs> Now that Jimmy Johnson just joined Howie as a GQ cover boy, maybe he knows when J.J. will make his return to coaching. Jimmy's going to get that bug again. That's just me. I'm not speaking for him. I'm just telling you, I think he's going to get the bug. I think somebody else is going to get the notoriety around January. It's going to eat at his craw. He's a competitive guy. He's going to want to get back in there. When that is, I don't know. Right now, he's having fun. And so is Howie Long. He rolled the dice, passing up other TV offers, because he wanted to work for Fox. For me, there's not enough airtime. I'm like a moth, man. You turn a light on and I, <laughs> and I go to it. And we're happy to report that Howie's going to join us on Sports Extra this year to talk about what's going on in the NFL. When we come back, we'll see what's going on with the Miami Dolphins. Will they be home for the Super Bowl come January? As seven on the sidelines rolls on. Your name's not on my paycheck. Uh, the fair weather fans name not on my paycheck. I gotta say, I like people to be real with me. If you're a fan of mine, if you're a fan of this team, stick with us through thick and thin. 